Hey guys, it's Michelle with Sweet Pea Farm in my closet again. And um, out of breath because I have my incubator in my closet upstairs and my brooder in my basement, which is two floors below me, and my toddler who just wants to check out the peep peeps all day. So we have been running lots of flights of stairs with 30 pound Eva. On my hip half the time because I don't trust her running the stairs by herself. <laughs> so we had one chick hatch this morning. Um, I checked on the incubator around two o'clock in the morning and no, there was no real action. Um, Matt woke up for work because he wakes up at like six and came in the closet and to get his clothes and I asked him you know what's going on in there and he said oh it looks like one's dead and I flew out of bed. I was like what? No like why would it be dead? It was not dead. It was just like lying there, fluffing up. So she was doing great. Um, of course, all the girls gave her some love and held on to her for a bit while I got the brooder light on and put the food out and everything. And um, so she was kind of by herself for a while. Then um, we were watching an egg, which you'll see footage of either before this, probably before this, maybe after, I don't know. Um, and she was the the one that was in the incubator so had pipped first at two o'clock yesterday so october 17th two o'clock in the afternoon um that egg had pipped and that one hatched um right before i took chloe to school so around 8 15 this morning she busted out of her shell and i got a lot of video of her working on it and now this is an egg that's trying to hatch um and I don't know how well it's super dark in the corner, but this one right here is working on it. Um, and this egg is the one that's super porous. So if you want, oh, Eva, you're taking my light away, bud. See the little chick? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah. So that one, that egg was really, um, the shell was really porous. So if you watch the, the candling videos, you could see how when we candled that egg, it was really holy looking. And... So when we did our first, oh, she's peeping. You peep? Peep. Chirp. It's like kids, they don't ever do it when you're watching. Peep. Um, peep. So the first candling we did for that egg, um, we had marked it as what we thought was a dud. Like we just put a pencil on to say that we thought it was not gonna hatch. Um, we got back from the Keystone International Livestock Show and candled again because when we candled the first time it was kind of a little early to do it and we had left all seven of the eggs in the incubator at that point because I always like I'm like what if I'm wrong and you know I pull it out and it was incubating so thank god I did that because this porous little egg is now hatching obviously when we candled it the second time we could see the chick and the heartbeat and everything and it was super cool so we were excited about that they sent us seven eggs because that's what fits in the Turner and by they I mean Gold Feather Farm. Um, we won, like miraculously won this Facebook contest that gave us this beautiful little Brincia incubator and then seven chick eggs and they said I could pick between the, I'm going to butcher the name, but it's like Ayumi Cerami, Sur something like that. And those are like all black chickens or the mosaic chickens. And those are chickens that are, they have like teal earlobes and they have really pretty feather colors. And I had seen them before on their Facebook and loved them. And I was so excited. So I was like, I definitely want mosaics. So they sent me seven to fill up the incubator, which was so awesome. And they were shipped up. I think they're in Louisiana, somewhere South, like not close, but the, the eggs got here and the incubator got here super fast. They, I won this contest. So I paid nothing for any of this. They shipped it to me and two priority boxes taped together. So it's sitting on one, the incubator is. So not only did they give me the incubator, give me the seven eggs, which I think the hatching eggs themselves are like $25 a piece if I had to buy them. So seven of those plus the incubator, and then they shipped it all to me priority mail. Like they're the bomb, those gold feather farm folks. I don't know if peep, peep. Um, Brincia like sponsors them or something, but super generous either way because they gave me the eggs too and they didn't have to do that they didn't have to do any of it and um so it was a huge deal and i was so excited obviously you've seen the video
So this one right on the right here has just kind of started working on it. And this one has been working since yesterday at two o'clock. It pipped through the shell and we've been watching it all day. Another one hatched <clears throat> before it. And this guy's so close. I just feel like he just has to like stretch out and he'll be hatched. It's gotta be exhausting. Oh, the baby is coming. Eva's right here. Can you see it, Eva? Oh. He kind of wiggled the egg away so we can't see his crate right now on the camera. It's hard to tell because it's all like wet. It's got to get dried off. This poor baby has got to be exhausted. It's been trying to hatch since 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And probably before that that I know of. You see the baby coming out, Eva? You see the baby chicken? Yeah. Peep, peep. Peep, peep. Why are these to school today? No. <laughs> I wish it wasn't so dark. Quiet one. A little baby hatched. Finally. You gotta let him fluff out a little. And we'll take him down with his buddy. It's so dark in here, but this guy is close. That shell stuck to him, I think. Maybe I'll take that off. So now we've left the chick in the incubator for about an hour to dry off and fluff up. And my hands are really cold, so it's in a towel. <laughs> he was so excited. Are you happy? We're going to go put it down with its friend. This is what I mean. Stairs. All day long. Let's... Yeah. Yeah, Dina's in the picture. That's one set of stairs to come down from the incubator and then through all the baby gates because of dogs and children to go to the basement to another set of stairs. So dark, sorry. My legs are killing me already today because I carry this one every time. It's leg day, leg day, right? Beep, beep. So we go through the basement and then we want to check on the babies. And they're just soaking up the heat lamp. Looking good, girls. Hopefully girls, right? I think it's so fun that they're meeting and they're like so excited to see each other. This is the first time they've met. I mean, obviously they sat in an egg next to each other for a while, but they're like so happy too be out and have friends. So these are the four chicks we ended up hatching out yesterday. We still have two in the incubator. We're praying we'll hatch and we'll keep you posted. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you would. Have a great day.